All for all you watching, this is the biggest lesson of all with the stoppies. Our guy Austin came all the way from Arkansas to come see us. All the way from Arkansas? Yes, sir. <laughs> That's sick. Everything that happens on this channel is like pretty much what happens within the shop. So Justin has become our star, my brother. It's crazy to be here because like I've never seen your face, so it's like <laughs> weird. I'll put a helmet on if that makes you feel better. You're in the you're in the trenches of the trenches right now, man. That's this what is... they said. Well, I'm from Arkansas, but I'm really, really close to Memphis. Yeah. So like everybody was saying, oh, you're gonna hear gunshots, and I was like, man, we kind of we sleep through that shit. That's normal, <laughs> right? Dude, yeah. you should tell us about this morning. Oh, we should rewatch it. Cut. Cut to that, Nick. I'm just saying, you made a mistake. Okay. I did. I apologize for my twenty dollars. What do you want me to say? It pissed me off. You said twenty. Okay. I raised twenty five dollars. I'm going to off the bike. That's what it is. The guy tried telling me that everyone else in Chicago charges ten to fifteen dollars for a tire. He wound up eventually saying um, that he's going to make sure that we don't make it in this area whatever that entails, and then he threatened to kick our door in. You're not gonna make it, bro. I'm gonna make sure of that. I mean, ain't nobody even kicked your door in yet. You know, I just don't need people like that in here, so if you want to complain about $5 over a tire change, feel free not to commit, you know? I can't believe you, bro. <laughs> My rate, man. I, I, can't, I can't believe you, though, but I'm saying. Oh, we're filming an interview. Oh, are you? We were. Oh, can I be in it? Oh, you weren't here. I had some guy come in here screaming this morning. Really? What happened? He said he's going to make sure we don't make it in this neighborhood and that this what is a black fuck? community. And are you serious? You're in a black neighborhood. Like community relations is a must. Yeah. What the fuck? And then, oh, you've never had your door kicked in yet, have you? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't fucking know. And he's like, do you even know anyone in the community? I'm like, a lot of people from the fucking neighborhood come here for me you to work on their bikes. That's, if that's I were, what I told him. Isn't that crazy? I don't know. I wouldn't trust him with kids. What are you talking about? Yeah. You're here. You're a minor. Yeah, and I've seen some stuff. Yeah, I'm sure you've heard some stuff too. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's good for you. Yeah. You need to develop some rough edges when you live around here. I'm looking for a 19. Yeah. Do you know if you have any? You can go through all of them, but you gotta organize them. When I was really into the parking lots back in Phoenix, I used to go to this uh, this shop, I think it was called High Output Motorsports in Phoenix, and see this guy named Scott. The deal was, because I used to go through like a tire every time I would ride my F4 high. <laughs> So I was just burning tires. Yeah. So I would go there and I'd bug him and he would let me go through his whole tire pit. I, but the deal was I had to organize them. I could really? take it, yeah, I could take as many tires as I wanted, but I had to organize them. I'll organize your tires for you. Yeah? Yeah. You wanna play that game? I'll play that game. They better be fucking spick and spam. I have nothing but time. Cause if he doesn't like it, you don't get your tires. If I don't like it, let's do it. Something's gonna happen. No, trust me, stuff has happened and I don't like it. So I'm gonna organize these good. There he is. This guy fucked up big time. Is your camera okay to get back? Okay. Ready to do a puddle? You got it. Okay. Took a, a gnarly loop. Yeah. Doing, doing some squid shit, trying to practice. I just put a uh, went up two two uh, teeth in the back and sent it a little too hard and fucking looped the hell out of it. This is Frankie. He wants to buy a scooter from me. Here it is. My old personal. Are you buying it to leave it? Yeah. yeah. Go to Wheelie. Go to Wheelie. <laughs> Oh, 
Did you get it? Well, you weren't supposed to try to wheelie me, Dad. Oh, you broke the tail light. Nah. Yeah. 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 Man! Cool. Is it hard to find the bracelet? It's probably hard to find though. I could probably find you one. Through me. <laughs> Through me. Crash it. It's sold. What are you what are you doing? Uh, I'm just cleaning it real good so that this vinyl adheres the way that it's supposed to. Especially on bare metal. You don't want any like dust or really anything loose on there. Because vinyl's thinner than paper. And if you can feel it, you're gonna see it through the film. Isn't that right, Evan? Yep. Vinyl is thinner than paper. What are you oh. doing? Making a stencil. So do you pre do you pre cut it? Look at that. Look at that. That is innovation. You like that? I do like that. So you only did that for the for the cap itself, but then you're gonna actually lay it on there and then cut it out? This is a neat experience. Can't wait until I do HD motor on my Harley. Shut up. <laughs> You're gonna be happy. I hope so. Something from the six shop. God, dude, if this is already my Woodcraft ignition, but you yeah. gotta be Look kidding at that. me. You wanna see some crazy shit? Watch this. Customer. Two days ago. I fucking emailed Nate. Nate, you are the man. You know the time that I'm under to get this bike done and you really came through for me. So thank you very much. Where are my needle nose? That's what I really need. You said you were gonna get organized to be efficient. I am organized. That's what you said. I know what I said. I'm gonna wait to drill anything. But I am gonna need to drill a hole so that this can lock onto the bar. I don't know where I want it yet though. We got these really nice Brembo RCS Masters. We're gonna run a 14 for the handbrake and a 19 for up front. You want a little bit bigger for something that's gonna be pushing fluid through two calipers as opposed to just one. This is right about where I would run it. Some people don't run the levers how I do. I used to do a lot of clutch work when I was riding, so I had to have full use of both levers. Some guys will run it so that their fingers are like if it's like this and your fingers are hitting, like you, you can't be on your brake and pull your clutch in all the way, that's a problem. So I like to run it lower. So we'll throw fresh banjo, fresh crush washers, all that in here, up to his fresh lines. RBF 600, we stock a lot of RBF fluids. We got the 660, the 600, a couple other ones up front. This is the gold standard when it comes to brake fluid. Everybody that is changing fluids, do this, we have it on our website. I keep it in the store. If you need it, stop by, order it online. This is what you want. These are the RBFs that I have in stock here. Uh, we got the 5.1, which is a non-silicone base. You're gonna run this in, in some things. It's not that common that you're gonna need this. Outside of that, we got the 660. This is the highest boiling point that I have. Um, but, but nine times out of 10, you're just gonna want the 600. Uh, this is what we all run, this is what Brian runs, this is what a lot of the local guys are on. This is what you want. And I have it, it's on the website, come get it.
that stuff, the different sizes. It's, it can get confusing if you don't know like what your masters are and what they do. Yeah, always uh, match your master for the caliper you're using too. You never want to go too big on one yeah. or too small. But to explain that to somebody that really doesn't know is yeah, it's hard, you know. Once the, once the fluids start flowing, I can't stop. Yeah, it hurts, it stings. <laughs> Billy, you're a weird guy. <laughs> it's it's you're not even dripping. The bottle is it's dripping. Water. Where? My bottle's oh. dripping into the Look how good we did. I'm filling it Look up. Look how good we did. Dripping. Boom. Done. Brakes, bled. Consider those brakes bled. You can cap it now. Yep. <laughs> That's satisfying. Isn't it? Well, so, is she ready to roll stoppies? <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Put oh, that bitch in there. Yeah, right there. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> bing, bing, bing. Just, just bing it. You want them in like that, man. That's the key to yeah. rolling stoppies. Well, for all you watching, this is the biggest lesson of all with the stoppies. This is your safety right here. Two fingers in, your your engagement zone is like right there. That's your safety. So when you jab it, it should barely touch there. So boom, it's like your last case safety that you can't pull it in much farther than that. I'm Ooh. glad that that went exactly how it went in my head because that never happens. Sweet. Sure, get some video. I know, for the most part. Nick knows. Nick knows, you know. Everyone Nick's been knows. directing me. Good. My little director. Uh, you know Justin doesn't know how to use the go. camera, so I gotta come here and right film the filmer. You filmed an episode before? Film the filmer. <laughs> yeah, Brian, I bumps up. I should be taking Nick on this trip with me. To Vegas? Nick, you wanna go on a trip to Vegas with Brian? You guys can both get the fuck out of my hair. You, sure. you wanna go shoot machine guns with Chuck Liddell and Donut Operator and go to a drift track and a bachelor party? I used to watch party Donut and... Operator a lot, actually. You do? Yeah. yeah. Would you like to go hang out with Brian and his YouTube, uh, YouTube celebrity buddies. friends. So I still gotta pack up my clothes and whatnot, but basically we're going out to Phoenix. I wish I could have Nick come with me, obviously. Phoenix and Vegas. Um, some of the stuff we always bring on road trips, like the bare necessities, tools in case the fucking um, van breaks down. We got all of our sockets, all that shit. A fire extinguisher, in case it lights on fire, my bike's light on fire, it's happened a couple times. Helmets, just tools fan. I always bring some merch. Um, a bunch of warming layers because it gets really cold, cold when you're going over like Denver and uh, even now in Chicago. The pivot seats, uh, the power outlet to edit videos on the road. Um, pretty much just lets me live on the road for about one, one and a half weeks. And uh, hopefully the fucking shop doesn't burn down when I'm gone. <laughs> Nick, we'll see you later, buddy. See you. Be safe. Yes, you can. I will. Hey, put these in that video. For you hating ass motherfuckers. Tell them, Justin. Uh, my wife just FaceTimed me. I missed it, so I'm gonna walk back. Clap back tomorrow. at the haters, Jay. See you guys. Hey. See you guys. See ya. Good. Don't burn this place down. He's talking to you, not me. He's talking to you. He's talking to you. <laughs>